All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So doing it on my brother's truck today, we're gonna be doing entire front suspension, uh, coil springs, isolators for the top, new shocks. We're gonna be doing it all. So get in here, hopefully with not too bad. So shock in the middle, coil springs right here, and up in here where it rests against this metal part of the frame, we're gonna be doing the isolators. Uh, we're gonna get the wheel off both fronts. Um, we're gonna get the axle supported on both sides so that we have the functionality to go up and down to get all the stuff out we need to. Probably gonna have to drop some batteries up top. Uh, who knows what else? It's probably be a little bit, probably a couple hour job. But anyway, um, gonna show you what we're gonna be replacing this with. My brother kind of wanted a little bit softer of a ride on a 2500, which is kind of hard to achieve, but he went with the Thurin. Jake, these are just soft rods, right? They're not the extreme. Two inch soft rod Thurin springs. Um, paperwork for them right here which basically you shouldn't know how to put these in then he also upgraded to the fox they say that they're tuned through Thurin that's what he says um, it'd be hard to say what the difference between a tuned Thurin fox shock versus a, just a regular 2.0 but I really hope that it makes a difference and then the last box over here is just going to be some new isolator top hats because obviously when you're replacing this stuff, you want to make sure it's good. So put you guys on time lapse. We're going to get the front jacked up and then step by step how to get this shit in, how to get the new stuff. So not perfect. All right, guys. So uh, it's the next day. What we did was obviously jack stands uh, had to get them up a little higher and had to undo the sway bar and links to make sure we got the most travel out of the front axle. Um, you could probably undo the track bar and a couple other things, but this side of the spring, the driver's side came out pretty easy. Passenger side, not so much. Uh, took some Raptor liner, went in here too. And uh, yeah, so this side's out, waiting on compressing the other springs and then we'll throw the new stuff in. So if you guys wanna undercoat your stuff really quick, you can tell this is still like spotchy cause it's still wet, but Raptor liner in a can is probably the best stuff i'm not even kidding it looks so good all right guys so got the springs in uh, i got both compressors on these uh, i'm gonna have to slowly start working our way out of them uh this part's not the most fun part in the world but you to get these in you're really gonna have to compress the springs and that's what we did so all right guys so this one side is done uh the driver's side's easier to work with than the passenger side I'm trying to make sure let me zoom out here a little bit there we go uh then the passenger side's kind of tough like you really have to you have to have spring compressors and on the other side you do have to unbolt the track bar to make sure that the axle allows it to drop down far enough but sides in the other side's also in we're just getting the spring compressors off that side right now and basically it's going to be the reassemble process so i'm going to show you what the new uh shocks look like they're pretty tough looking and feed them down through the top and go from All right, there guys so finishing up uh pretty much before we take this on a drive um just wanted to cover pretty much what all we did to get this all reassembled so obviously a shock whenever it goes down through the axle right here it's uh you're gonna have to finagle a little bit and work with it to get the bolt through and the top part with the battery box moved out of the way and stuff just reassembling everything but obviously you have your three 15 millimeters on the top um, I put the sway bar in link back on this side and just going to pretty much double check everything, make sure everything's tight, torque spec, and put the wheel back on, take it for a drive and let you guys know. All right, guys. So first test drive, uh, me and my brother went on. Uh, the truck is, you ask yourself if it's like worth spending $700 on, and this is night and day difference in ride quality. Uh, before, the truck rode very stiff like every other 2500. I'm not going to say it's as good as a 1500 rod, like you're, you're, I'm not gonna say it's that good, but it is very, very close to it. And I say with a set of shocks on the back, it would ride very close. So 10 out of 10 mod, this is gonna wrap this video up. Guys, if you have any questions, comment below. This is Thurin's two inch soft ride coils, Fox tuned Thurin shocks, new Moog, Moog, however you say those isolators. And that's all we did. So 10 out of 10, probably got about seven, $800 wrapped up in suspension in the front, 100% worth it. Ride quality is so different. I'd actually give it like, honestly, nine out of 10. Like, I don't know that it could have got much better. I don't know what you could have done to make it that much better. But all right, guys, till next time, support those who support you.